Hey everybody, Death Hunter at the Death Shop. Hey look, I got my Kodu cut. Finally, finally got into the uh, <laughs> great clips. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hat on here because it's a little blowy today, but it's not that bad. Let me wipe you off. There you go. Anyway, we're gonna do a video in the garden here. But uh, yeah, first of all, admire the clover. It's really nice. Got cut down the last time I got cut. I decided to go over there and seed, so it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely love it. But uh, it's been rainy and very rainy and very rainy and very rainy indeed. So, so I'm a little overgrown with a few weeds, but uh, gonna need some drier time to come through and pick because I really don't want to be all messed up with my shoes and everything. See, asparagus, not quite as productive as I wanted it to be this year, unfortunately. So it looks like I had some friends come in and visit. You can see, I think, hoof marks there. I think those would be deer trying to come in and eat my vegetables. Yeah, take a look, see a little. But the peas survived. Green beans still did okay. So it didn't look like it got munched, so that's good. Got the tomatoes on the one side. I think they may have came down, smelled the tomatoes, and been like, oh my god. Either that or they snipped the uh, tops of my peas. Which, yeah, they might have gotten in there and snipped the tops of the peas. So even with this, got the head. So we'll have to put up a few more bamboos to keep the beasties out. Apparently that's all they're after. Basil's still there. Oh wow, we've got some really nice basil growing now. And some weeds, of course. Cantaloupe's starting to come up. We got three. Uh, four and five didn't, didn't seem to come up, so might end up replanting. I still got enough time, I think. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling these probably, yeah. Especially with the trying to flower. This is the stuff I wish they'd eat. <laughs> They won't eat the, uh, they won't eat those. Now I think that these are leeks, so get those, wow, those garlic that I uh, picked off the top, those bulbs smelled really nice. Got uh, potatoes here, which is really weird that we've got, I've never seen a potato with flowers. There's a whole three, four of them now. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Raspberries, you can see them growing. I've got so many raspberries growing right now, it's not even funny. I mean, just in this small area alone here, probably about a hundred. Easy. Coming up, we've got dahlias, dahlias, dahlias. And uh, wondering if the pansies will grow or not. They were old seeds, so we'll find out. Artichokes seem to be doing good. See another hoof print right there. They took a sniff around the artichokes but didn't want to eat them apparently. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk back down this way. Oh wait, let me do one thing first. We're gonna come over this way just a second. Because the flowers that I did want to keep, the irises, are actually in bloom. I think these are irises. But I got a few here, I got a few way back in the corner. These little white ones, I'm trying to kill this stuff off because I don't like it very much. And you see that they don't like the leaves up here because it looks like all the leaves are intact. <laughs> Birds though. Now these aren't supposed to have cherries on them, but there we go. We got little teeny tiny cherries growing all over them. That's for the birds to eat. They don't get my strawberries. I think the deer are just kind of miffed that I uh, went over there and covered up the best strawberries. <laughs> See, the thing is, is I kind of want peas and I kind of want beans too, so I'm going to have to protect the rest. What I did leave open was the uh, Ozark Beauties over here. Because, uh, and I can see that one stepped through, but didn't bother chewing. But there's thistles in there anyway, so I'm going to have to get those. I mean, I can see the prints. <laughs> They're everywhere. And there's that other iris that I was talking about. Let's get a closer view, if we can. It's 
been out for a little bit, so. Just gotta watch out, because that dirt up there will stick to the bottom of my boots right now. Come back down here. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about this first chance I get. I gotta get that grass out of there. Blueberries with lots and lots and lots of blossoms. Gotta get a shot of those. And then the other set of blueberries, which is kind of interesting. We can go around this plant though. See these ones. Quite a different variety. That bush is much lower to the ground, and yet it's still trying to produce not nearly as much as the one behind me. But yeah, there's blue on there. But there's berries on there already. Let me take a look again. There they are, little green guys. And then black raspberries which are going to be the next set and <laughs> another look at the raspberry raspberries with just I mean look at this it's crazy berries 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 everywhere now the reason why we're doing so good with the berries I believe is because I uh, went through the end of the season last year and I picked out all the dead stuff after the growing season was over I'm going to try and See, take a look at this that's when you know it's a weed it comes out of the ground so easy <laughs> now this one here isn't quite i mean it is but it isn't i mean it is to me but it isn't really it's more of a wildflower this other one here hmm, actually smells kind of nice smell the stem so now that i know that i got a little beasties after my beans and peas i better get a move on protecting those. We've got all sorts of chives starting to come up now. I'll have those in a few days. But the interesting thing that I've got today, oh besides another dahlia right down below here, and some morning glory that's gonna get destroyed, <laughs> is uh yeah look I have lettuce, tons and tons and tons of lettuce with a weed in the middle. <laughs> Take care of the weed on a stretch. But look at that. So there's my hand. There's the lettuce. It's pretty big. Gonna have to make a salad out of that. Funny thing is, is Heather the other day went over there and, <laughs> and bought lettuce. I make a salad and I said, well, what about the stuff in the garden? <laughs> Oops. But look at all those blossoms on the strawberries, too. I mean, we're gonna have quite the show here coming very shortly as for this I'm gonna get to protecting these even more so that way we can actually have ones that grow up got to deter the one beastie that decided oh, okay I'm gonna come back and look for the buffet because this is not a buffet kids so, you're gonna get the mad face <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, just an overview. Looks really great. That's my window up there from my bedroom, so I get a bird's eye view of how nice it looks down here. You can hear the crickets and the birds chirping. That's what I like about it right now. Nice, calm, serene, peaceful. Just a tiny bit of wind, which is why I picked today, because we got gray clouds everywhere. But it's been a while since I filmed, and I was really excited about the lettuce. But now, I see I have something else to attend to, so I'm going to get to attending to it. Anyway, death out at the death shop saying, I'll catch you later. Keep growing your gardens. Stay strong out there. Even if you're shut in, you can still plant a garden in your backyard, assuming that you have one. If you don't, I feel real bad for you. Anyway, I'll catch you later, guys. We'll see if I can find that bee. It's in my clover. I'm amazed that he's out. And it's so wet out here. Eh, no film of any bees, but here's another good shot of the clover. It goes all the way around, guys. I'll leave you with that. Have a good night. <laughs>